Thank you, and I thank the gentlelady from Florida for uh, her leadership in putting together this special order this evening to honor our local law enforcement officers. I can think of few people more deserving of this honor than the men and women in local law enforcement as their daily acts of heroism, bravery, and courage keep our communities safe. Tonight, we've heard numerous examples of officers displaying acts of heroism while in the line of duty. I'd like to include a few more from my district back in Cincinnati, Ohio, like officers Tiffany Mountjoy and Chris Keene of the Franklin, Ohio Police Department, uh, who ran into a house engulfed in flames without protective gear to save the life of an 82-year-old woman who was trapped inside. Or Cincinnati Police Officer Sonny Kim, who was shot and killed in the line of duty by an individual whose apparent motive was to lure and murder as many police officers as possible. Or Corain Township Police Officer Dale Woods, who was responding to a traffic accident when he was hit by a truck. Officer Woods, a father of three children who had served the community with distinction for 15 years, died three days later. And finally, one of the most heroic occurrences by police officers in my congressional district in recent memory took place a couple years back when Cincinnati police officers responded to an active shooter situation in downtown Cincinnati at the Fifth Third uh, Bank Building on Fountain Square. Their quick actions saved the lives of countless civilians who were in the building that day, whose lives probably would have been lost, but for their heroism. According to the FBI, there were 73 law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty last year by felonious homicide, and that means things, uh, officers killed with firearms and vehicles and knives or assaults. That's nearly twice as many as were killed in the line of duty the year before. Of those, 32 officers were killed last year by ambush attack, which is twice as many as the previous two years combined. These numbers are quite disturbing, and particularly when you consider that many uh, Democrat elected officials across the country, and in this very House, support policies which are anti-police, like defunding the police, or dismantling police departments, or eliminating qualified immunity, which means they could be sued personally as police officers. We need to be supporting our police officers all across the country, not implementing policies would put them at risk. Thank you, Madam. Appreciate you uh, putting this on this evening, and I yield back.